With its ancient moorland, historic market towns and family farms, Exmoor in Western England seems a world away from modern day politics. But thanks to Brexit, people here see a chance to reshape the future of Britain's countryside. Sarah Bryan is Chief Executive of Exmoor's National Park. She sees Brexit as her opportunity to boost tourism and protect the land. The current schemes that we've had over the last 20 or 30 years have provided support to people simply for owning land. So the bigger your farm, the more money you get, rather than what it is that you're producing. What we're saying, and the farmers absolutely agree with us, is that whether we're delivering a hay meadow or curlews or beautiful moorland, let's reward for those public goods, the goods that, that the people actually value and makes these landscapes even richer in wildlife, even more beautiful than they are now. EU subsidies have focused almost exclusively on production, but rewarding farmers for acting sustainably would mean a new relationship with the land. It's an idea welcomed by local farmers, like Dave Knight, who worked with Sarah to publish a joint proposal called Exmoor's Ambition. It's putting the power in the farmer's hands to say, how do I want to react to the current markets for farm produce? And how does that compare to potential environmental support packages? If you want to max out on the environment, fine, you'll be rewarded in return for that. If you want to max out on production, that's fine as well, but you will see a corresponding drop in environmental payments. And it's just putting the power there in the farmer's hands to make a business decision. I think if the government responds positively to what we're asking within the Exmoor ambition, and what the farming community as a whole is asking, yes, I, I think absolutely we could have a really, really positive future. Many local businesses share the hill farmers' optimism about the future. Michael Buckingham represents a group of businesses in South Moulton. If Brexit opens as apt to the rest of the world as a destination for tourism, then that can only benefit a lot of the businesses down here. The businesses in South Moulton are very resilient and whatever changes uh, come through, then they will, will grab the changes and run with it. As different opportunities arise, I think the general feeling is, please get on with it. People have been working the land on Exmoor for thousands of years. Brexit may pose a new threat, but it also offers a chance for new thinking, where local solutions are proposed for local problems. Brexit poses a tremendous challenge for rural communities like Exmoor's, but it also represents a tremendous opportunity, and it's one that the people on Exmoor are grasping with both hands.